Well, we'll go ahead and get started. I believe everybody uh, is here with us today. Today we're here to the honor a fallen member of the Albuquerque Police Department, Sean McQuithy. I was uh, reflecting uh, a moment ago with some of the people that are here, despite the fact that I wasn't with the Albuquerque Police Department on the day that he gave his life to our community. We all remember where we were uh, when this incident happened. His family has a long and distinguished career in serving our community. And I think it says a lot about the McQuithy family. Uh, I didn't know Sean, but I knew his dad when he was uh, with the United States Secret Service. And I did get to know his brother Matt later in my career. It's a family that's dedicated their life to serving the community of Albuquerque. They've given so much, but their son made the ultimate sacrifice. I want to thank uh, our counselor, Ken Sanchez, and all the work and the dedication that he has done to make this day happen. And uh, I can't tell you enough, counselor, how much the men and women of the Albuquerque Police Department the men and women of law enforcement say thank you to our leaders, to our elected leaders, when they take uh, such a commitment to public safety to this level and to have a park named in honor of a fallen police officer. So, Counselor, I'd like to turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. What a great honor to be standing here today with the McQuethy family, honoring one of our fallen heroes, Sean McQuethy. And I had the opportunity to work with his dad when I was serving on the Bernalillo County Commission. He was the under sheriff, Ken McQuethy, working under Sheriff Joe Bowdage. And what an incredible human being Sean's dad was. He brought a family up of law enforcement officers and unfortunately, we lost Sean at a young age. But the journey and the life that he had in serving the people of this community was remarkable. And we are blessed and fortunate to have each and every one of the McQuethy family members here today. His mom is here also, uh, Helen, as Chief said, his brother Matt, Patrick McQuethy, his brother is also here today, Monica, his sister-in-law, Joseph McQuethy's brother, Karen McQuethy, his sister-in-law, and again, I said Matt was here, and his nieces and nephews, Colin, Kyle, Megan, Elsie, and Magdalena. And if I miss any of the members of the family, I truly apologize. But Sean died on February the 1st of 1986, over 31 years ago. And I had vowed to members of the Albuquerque Police Department, each and every day that you go out and keep our community safe, you never know if you will be going home that night. And I've said that we will never ever forget the name Sean McQuethy. And here we are 31 years today remembering one of our heroes. At this time, I want to also thank Jerry Worrell and his wife Frida. A jury was serving on the Parks Advisory Board uh, several years ago. And it was Jerry's uh, idea to name the park after Sean McQuethy. The biggest challenge that we faced was funding. And funding has always been a challenge. And one of the big challenges that we face today, and I hope and I pray that we can get the numbers of police officers up in Albuquerque to assure that our officers are also safe in protecting the citizens of our community. Right now we have approximately 835 officers in the city of Albuquerque. I'd like to see that number increase in the very near future to at least 1,100 or 1,200 officers so we can go back and start re-implementing community-based policing because today, our officers are busy responding to priority one calls. And that's been a challenge for the police department. But I want to thank the chief and his deputy chief huntsman uh, for the work that they have done. They've done a remarkable job with the challenges that we face with funding. And I'd like to bring up uh, deputy chief huntsman to say a few words. I think he was in school and in classes with, uh, or maybe in with the academy teaching. Well, the academy. In the academy yeah. uh, teaching son. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, I wasn't teaching Sean. I had the honor to meet Sean McQuethy on June 6, 1983, 
when we started the 53rd cadet class together, we were classmates. Uh, there's just three or four of us left on the department that actually were in Sean's uh, academy class. And I got to tell you, he was an absolute joy to, to be around. Uh, the police academy is a fairly stressful, not a happy place to be most of the time. But Sean always brought a smile to your face, made you laugh, made you relax and, and, and uh, just feel like you belong there. I never met anybody like him before, and I really haven't met anybody like Sean since, and you'll have to ask his brother what I mean by that. Uh, Sean was a great guy. We, had, we had, a, had a wonderful time together. We worked together once we got out of the academy. Uh, unfortunately, his career was cut short. About two years and eight months, he, he was on the street before he was murdered by uh, Vincent Paul Candelaria uh, on February 1st. So it's been a tragedy. It's, it's uh, it's a heavy load that uh, his classmates and I carry with us. And like Councillor Sanchez said, it's been 31 years and there's not a day that goes by that we don't remember Sean, our classmate. So it's an honor uh, to be here to talk about Sean. Thank you, Barbara Taylor from Parks and Rec, uh, Councillor Sanchez for, for this opportunity to have a park to truly memorialize uh, Sean. Great man, there were none better, so thank you. Thank you, Chief, Chief Huntsman. At this time, I would like to welcome and bring to the uh, podium uh, Ken McCarthy, uh, Sean's dad, and his mom, Helen, and the rest of the family. Please uh, gather around the podium. And uh, Mr. McCarthy will be saying a few words about his son. Uh, Mr. McCarthy, as the chief has stated, also worked for presidents of this country, working for the United States Secret Service. Uh, a great history of law enforcement. I'd like to invite Mr. McCarthy to the podium talk about his son and Helen. Well, first, on behalf of the family, I'd like to thank Ken Sanchez. Chief Hanson and Chief Huntsman and the other people present here that have partially been responsible for this development. I'm sure Sean would be honored to know that a park was named in his behalf. And I hope the people that see that park and go by re are reminded every day of the risk that law enforcement people place on behalf of the community when they go out when they get in that patrol car and go out and go to work. Uh, Sean wanted to be a police officer from the time he was a young boy, and uh, he got his wish. And I'm glad he got that opportunity. Thank you. Anything else? All I have to say is thank you for remembering him as we remember him every day. And we thank all of you very much. Yeah, again, we wanted to thank you uh, for dedicating this. and. Also, I wanted just to say, I can't believe it's been 31 years. My brother was 23 years old when he was killed in the line of duty. Um, so he was just a young guy. I have nieces and nephews now that are his age, uh, that were his age, that weren't alive when he was killed, um, that didn't really get an opportunity to know him. There's not a day that goes by where we don't think about my brother um, as family members um, that knew him. Um, you know, we miss him every day, and I think this park is a great way to show that, you know, he won't be forgotten. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Helen. At this time, I'd like to bring up the director of parks. You know, we can come up with these great ideas, but it, are the, it is the individuals that are behind the scenes that do a tremendous amount of the work and do all the preparation and the planning and she's been a great advocate for parks in our community. I'd like to bring up Barbara Taylor to say a few words. Thank you, Councillor Sanchez. I got up this morning um, thinking hard about the men and women behind me in uniform who go out every day um, in confused and maybe some angry times and um, put themselves in harm's way to protect all of us. And sometimes, like Sean McQuethy, pay the ultimate price to do so. 
I'm so really proud of Councillor Sanchez for never forgetting that we needed to build this park. <laughs> um, and I'm very, very proud that the Parks and Recreation Department is going to provide such a life-affirming remembrance of a brave and wonderful young man. Thank you, Barbara. I also want to thank David, who was working with Parks and Recs and played a, an integral part in this development. At this time, I would like to bring to the podium uh, the past president of the Thress Volcanus Neighborhood Association. Uh, he was on the Parks Advisory Board when this issue came up. Uh, he's lived in this community for many years, and we've faced many challenges. Because uh, I just live, live right up the street, and I love this area, I love this community, and the representation that we have with leadership and our neighborhood leaders. I'd like to bring up Jerry Worrell and his wife. Please come up and say a few words. Thank you, Ken. Um, I'm delighted that so many people could be here today. Um, as Ken said, uh, he put my name forth to two mayors to be on the Parks and Rec Advisory Board, where I was for many years. And there was always that one issue that kept nagging at me, and that was in the day when Sean was killed, we named a substation and a park for every uh, fallen police officer. Sean had the substation named for him, but we never dedicated a park to him. So one of the things that did happen is we did get the name changed to Sean McQuethy, but we didn't have a park w w with behind that name. And my goal was to always have a place where some child could say to his dad or his parent when they're here at the park, who was Sean McQuethy? Because that story of our police officers, their dedication, and what they do to help us is, is good. Now, my job is kind of like the job of a puppy grabbing a hold of the cuff of the people in charge, and you just can't shake them off. So I'm delighted that Ken Sanchez never shook me off on this issue and that we are naming this park today. And to this lovely lady who gets to listen to me complain about the things that need to be done, thank her for being here with me. But thanks to you and to the McQuethy family uh, for, for the, the IOU the city has, has now been paid. Thank you. I would also thank uh, Tommy Borst who is here today and our two commanders, uh, the North and South Area Commanders, uh, Commander Runyon and also uh, Commander Michelle Campbell is also here. But again, uh, once this completion of this park is done, it'll be probably in October sometime that, it, that the first phase will be completed. Uh, we will be uh, seeing children and families celebrating events, and the most important thing, they will be remembering Sean McQuethy. Thank you for coming. I know it's a Sunday afternoon. Uh, I just... Uh, seems like only a few hours ago I left the mayor's ball last night. The mayor could not be here today. But again, there are great things happening in our community each and every day. But the police department and our police officers that serve each and every day are my heroes. Thank you.